never slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever. Hey team, hope you're all doing well. Today's topic, I wanted to uh, cover a question that was recently asked, and that was. Uh, just curious if you have any thoughts on headphones versus no headphones during training and on race day. Um, wearing headphones in training I think is okay. I've done it numerous times myself over the years. Um, but it's gotten to a point now where if I try to do it now versus when I was like in my late 20s and late late to, or uh, early to mid 30s, it feels weird for me now. I mean, I'm so used to training without headphones uh in, in workouts, i.e. easy runs or tempo runs or even long runs, uh, that it, it just feels foreign to me. But every athlete's different. And I think that obviously when you're wearing headphones, you, you have those endorphins and it, it kind of takes your, your mind away from what you're doing. And, and so I think for some athletes, I think wearing headphones is, is a perk and a benefit. And for other athletes, it can be kind of distracting and not really as beneficial. Um, and, and like I mentioned before, when I was um, in my early 30s training in Colorado Springs, this is back when I was stationed at Fort Carson and I was still in the Army, I was I did wear those, um, there was these small nano, uh, Apple Nano headphones that they had. And they had, and they had wired headphones. Obviously now we don't even have those. I mean, it's, it's totally different now. Uh, but I would wear those during my long runs and again, it, it kind of took me away from uh, the, the pain and tried to d distract me a little bit from what I was doing. But now I think I'm much more immersed. And I think uh, wearing wearing headphones for me right now would be distracting for me. I like zeroing in on that specific pace and the intensity I'm trying to run. And I, I really don't want to be as distracted from uh, the what I'm tr what I'm trying to do. And, and again, I've tried wearing headphones recently as well, and it just feels unnatural for me now uh, because, again, I've spent so many uh, months now, well, actually over a year now, training for this upcoming marathon. And so I don't really, it, it just doesn't feel as comfortable for me wearing the, heart, the headphones. Um, so, but again, I think it's, it's really individual for the athlete. I think really, uh, if you can find a way uh, to help you get through those those tough patches in training, uh, wearing headphones in training is totally okay. Uh, and again, many athletes do it. World class athletes do it as well. Um, you know, an example of that is Ilya Kipchoge. I mean, he's got those uh, wireless headphones that he wears. He he talks about in some of his videos that he wears in training. Um, so again, I think it really just depends on the athlete. Uh, Mike's eight seventy uh, eight seventy seven two who asked this question. Um, I do think that, again, there's there's benefits to wearing headphones in training. Uh, and I think some of those is just, again, it, it helps you to take your mind away uh, from, from the pain and maybe the boredom of running for long periods of time uh, and helps you to get those endorphins and, and have that, that music that, you know, motivates you and keeps you to get, keeps you going over long periods of time in training. But again, for some athletes, um, myself, you know, as an example, I, I like being really zeroed in on the effort, the pace, um, and staying as relaxed as I can. And I think now as an older athlete, I, I prefer not wearing headphones versus wearing headphones in training. Now you did ask on race day during training and on race day. Um, of course there are athletes out there that wear headphones in, in races as well. Uh, I know some races are a little bit more stringent in terms of uh, not allowing that, and some of them are. Um, I think the morning of the race, I think it's totally okay to wear uh, headphones, you know, as you're warming up and, again, trying to just get in that mindset, of, you know, listening to some... For me, I always like the Rocky IV soundtrack. Uh, War by Vince DiCola is probably one of my favorite all-time songs. Um, but that entire album, Rock, the Rocky IV soundtrack, I absolutely love. I can listen to that anytime. Um, obviously, other examples, you know, Metallica, uh, you know, anything that's kind of really quick, uh, upbeat. Uh, prior to the race, again, gets you in that mindset, gets you, gets you focused. Um, and, and again, other athletes 
pref would prefer not to wear headphones in training or prior to a race because again it kind of maybe they want to stay as relaxed as they can they want to stay um, calm and maybe the the music will get them out of that 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 uh, state of mind so I think really it just comes down to what works best for the athlete um, obviously the training itself uh, and what you're doing to prepare for your races is what counts the most obviously um, staying as calm and relaxed as you can prior to the start of your races but more importantly also before you even get to those races staying calm and relaxed even under pressure in training again i always mention that you want to make training the most difficult part of your preparation the race day after you start to taper down from your workouts you've done the long runs you've done the tempo runs you've put in the heavy volume so when you go into that goal race you will have done everything possible to set a new personal best, you know, and whether that's wearing headphones in training or not wearing headphones or whatever you have to do in order to stay motivated in training, you will have already done that, okay? Um, so don't wait until the morning of the race to be extremely stressed out and, and uptight and overanalyzing the what-ifs you know, you want to if you if you want to overanalyze and you want to analyze what you're doing, make sure you're doing that several weeks leading into your goal race. I think that's very important. And of course, expect the challenges. Expect that there's going to be days where your paces are going to be off. There's going to be days where you're well ahead, um, and and the the effort itself feels effortless to you. Um, some days our heart rates are really high, and we have to slow down and really jog in order to make sure that our body is recovering from the workouts we're doing. And then other days, our heart rate is very low and we have to really pick up the pace um, just to maintain that, that, that normal effort. You know, whether it's uh, normally you're running easy at like 130 to 140 beats per minute. Um, and as you get fitter, obviously you, you're running at that same intensity, but your paces are dramatically quicker versus when you're first starting off you're not very aerobically fit and you're not very anaerobically fit and that 130 140 pace you're running at much slower paces because again you haven't built that aerobic base first and you haven't really built that anaerobic training into your your training uh, weeks in order to really start speeding up on in terms of pace per mile pace per kilometer but my advice just whether wearing headphones and training or not do what works best for you um, there's no right or wrong answer in regards to this. Some athletes do very well with wearing headphones in training uh, prior to the start of race. Um, there are other athletes out there that are wearing headphones in tr in races. Okay, there I've seen athletes filming themselves in the middle of races. You know these these um, we call them the so-called influencers. I'm not an influencer. Um, I'm just an average Joe. Um, just one of you know millions of other athletes out there that uh, talk about running and stuff. But I would. And, and more power to the folks out there that are f actually filming themselves or they're holding their their uh, GoPros out when they're running and stuff. You won't see that with me. It's I'm, when it time when it's time to race, I'm locked in and I'm zeroed in. Um, and it's not about getting the views and 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 getting other um, comments and these other things. I mean, really, it's my my best advice to all the other athletes is. The advice I was given by Lisa Rainsberger, the 1985 Boston Marathon champion who coached me um, several years ago. She said, uh, speak softly and carry a big stick. So um, I do the best I can just to make sure that I'm putting in the work and in training so that on race day, the results come. And it's not always a guarantee, but if you put in the training in training, you're going to be well prepared for your races. So wearing headphones in training versus not do what works best for you. I hope this uh, answers your question, Mikes. Um, and I wish you guys and gals all the very best in your training and racing. If you have any other questions, leave me a comment below. Let me know in the comment section if, if you wear headphones in training or if you've worn them in a race. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are on this particular topic. I'd love to hear it. So thank you so much for your support, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.